Hello Mr and Mrs Homeowner, welcome to our video about staying warm at home. Today we will walk you through which type of insulation you should choose. Now to start off with, what is the problem? Well, you have come to us with a beautiful 4 bedroom house that you want to know should we get cavity wall insulation or double glazing? Well we're here to tell you which one is the right decision. Now a few assumptions we have made is that the house looks like this drawing we have found and taken some measurements of. Of course, with this, we assume the house has three single windows, four double windows, and seven triple windows. A few more assumptions are the heating requirements are constant over time, electricity and gas prices remain constant, the amount of heat produced by the heating system is constant, and you, the homeowner, will keep the house during this payback period. Cavity wall insulation is a construction method that involves an external wall made of bricks and internal wall and an insulating material between them. In our case, the insulating material will be polystyrene beads, uh, which is commonly used. Without the insulation, heat loose occurs between the inner and outer walls, which is highly undesirable. Double glazing refers to a window that is made up of two glass panes of glass separated by a space. This space is often filled with air or an insulating gas such as argon to reduce heat loss. One thing that is discussed often when it comes to comparing insulation materials are the U-values. The U-value measures insulation effectiveness quantifying heat that passes through a material per unit area for a given temperature difference. Higher U-value has worse insulation properties while lower U-values indicate better insulation properties. The Fon equation can be used to calculate the U-value of an insulation material. So what do these Fonny symbols actually mean? U represents the thermal transmittance Phi is a heat transfer or the energy loss in the form of heat. A is the area of the material. T1 is the temperature of one side of the structure, whilst T2 is the temperature on the other side. The unit of measurement when calculating U values is watts per meter squared per Kelvin. And from this, we can rearrange the equation to work out the heat loss. We can now move on to some actual calculations and how much heat you will lose with each type of insulation. We start off with cavity wall without insulation which is what we currently have. The U value of this is 1.6, and we're going to assume for each case that the temperature inside the house will be 21 degrees, while the temperature outside is five degrees. Got I love classic British weather. Now using the heat loss equation, we can find that the total heat loss is a whopping 8,755.2 watts. If you now consider cavity wall with insulation, it has a U value of 0.3, and using the same equation, we can see that the total heat loss is 1,641.6 watts. Comparing these two, there's a 7,113.6 watt difference. We can do the same process with single and double glazing. Single glazing has a U value of 5.6, and using the heat loss equation, we see that the heat loss would be 2,509 watts. Double glazing has a U value of 1.2, and from the same equation, the heat loss is almost a fifth, being at 538 watts. Once again, we can see that there is a vast 1,971 watts difference between the two. We can also do the same thing with the roof, doors and floors. The roof we found to lose 467 watts of heat, the doors losing 51.2 watts and the floors losing about 300 watts. By combining these figures, we can conclude that using cavity wall insulation would result in a loss of 4,968.8 watts of heat in total. Double glazed windows would help result in a loss of 10,111 10, watts and with absolutely nothing extra added, you'll lose a massive 12,082 watts of heat. So, what does this mean? Obviously cavity wall insulation wins, right? Well, maybe. We need to work out the cost of installing, how much money you save and the return on investment. I'll leave it to Osman to explain all of this to you as he has done a lot of calculations and I mean a lot. As you can see from the figures presented on the screen, the cost of installing cavity wall insulation is estimated at approximately £945, whereas the cost for double glazing stands at £4,800. In terms of savings, cavity wall insulation offers a higher yield, with potential annual savings of up to £900, compared to £150 for double glazing.
Now regarding the t- return on investment, the payback period for cavity wall insulation is slightly over a year and it can provide a profit of approximately £21,600 over its lifespan of up to 25 years. On the other hand, double glazing typically lasts for an average of 28 years and takes 32 years to pay itself back, resulting in a loss of around £600. So, which do we recommend? Drum roll, please! Obviously, it is cavity wall insulation. This shouldn't come as a big shock, hopefully. It's cheaper, better return on investment, and the big one, you will make profit. Thanks for listening and hopefully you'll make the right decision after this video.